Hello everyone, welcome to yet another important video on Tableau coding test that has been trending these days. So today, so today I got you some, you know, Tableau assignment, you know, interview question that was asked. Maybe it was in level two or level three. I was not, I was not sure. And the company also, I'm not sure. But these were the questions uh, that were given and asked to prepare a dashboard. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And while you, we are doing so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So to start off, questions were something like this. Uh, build a report or a dashboard. Okay, so here the data set that we are considering is sample superstore, just to be very clear so that you can replicate it. And the first thing that he is giving as a requirement is filters. So if you see, he's asking us to create a filter and give multi-select option that is on state and then product on multi-select and then quantity and sales as a two buttons. So here is something, one functionality that we need to create. So, okay. So whenever you are reading the question, just try to understand what is the requirement. So here we need to create functionality, maybe using parameter. So we should be in a state that we are understanding the requirement and trying to get what is needed. So these are two straightforward fields that will drop it on filter shelf and will create a quick filter. <coughs> and then we'll create a quantity and sales as two buttons. So this is about filters. Okay, fine. Next is about visuals. Okay. So he's asking us to create five visuals here. If you see one is a total sales by state and drill down to city, total sales value and total quantity top 10 customers by sales and is asking to sort by highest to the lowest and then top 10 worst products and top 10 sales by month of audited. Okay, so five important questions. And next is if user selects quantity, all of the above visuals should show for quantity. If user is selecting sales, then it should display for sales, which means the measure that we need to use here should be dynamic. Whatever here it is selecting from the user, it should display that. If user selects filter B, if user selects the state filter, this should not impact. That is what it is saying. If user select the state filter, visuals B.1 should not get filtered. It should always show all states, which means while applying action or when you are trying to put filter, this should not be included. Or when you are sharing the filter of this, we need we need not share it to this particular sheet that we are using. Okay. So next are some generic things. Proper tool tips should be used. Use proper col uh, color coding and report layout should be used. Okay, so first what I'm doing is I'm trying to create a functionality. That is what is needed here. I think rest is very straightforward. You guys should be able to do. Uh, and I'm going to Tableau here and I'm connecting to sample superstore and I'm creating a parameter here of uh, integer type select uh, measure I'm writing. and uh, list i'm giving as one and two but i'm displaying that as sales and quantity click ok now what i'm doing is uh, i'm taking i'm creating a calculated field on top of that So I'm writing it as P underscore select measure. You can rename it whatever you want. And I'm doing it using case statement. Maybe you can write if statement also, not an issue, but the whole uh, intention behind is getting the requirement into working. Okay. When it is one, so one is sales, then I need a sum of sales. Okay. When it is two, then quantity I'm ending, I'm ending it, simple, okay? Click on apply, okay. Now whatever I take here, if I try, take it and drop it. If I select the sales, 
sales I'm getting. If I'm selecting quantity, I'm getting quantity. Okay, so it is working dynamically. One thing that we got now, we can try to answer questions that are given here. So first question is state uh, into filter and multi-select. So I'm just selecting the state uh, from the from this and clicking on show filter directly and uh, I'm just selecting multi-value drop down. So on state we got next is on the product. So I'm going into this product and maybe I'll take this and I'll drop it show filter here and I'll just click on multi-value drop down. Okay, so I'll put state first product name and then select measure. So three things we got state multi select. This is done. So maybe while doing you can write it. Okay, this is uh, I've completed or you know, you can write something like this to make sure you have implemented this in your dashboard. And this is also done. Now we need to create five worksheets total sales value by state and drill down to city. So I'm simply taking state. Okay. And uh, this is how we got the sales. I'm sorting it. So if he needs city, this is with respect to state drill down to city. Both the things are there, but I'm keeping it at city level only. And I'm just displaying the value. Okay. We got one. So because I'm answering question one here, just to make sure I'm writing it as one. So you can name it whatever you know we are showing in this thing. Next is total sales value and total quantity value. So we need total sales and total quantity basically. So total. Uh, okay, so second question is this. So state and product are multi-select. Okay. So I'm taking sales value here. So this is my total sales value and quantity I'm taking and I'm dropping it here. Okay, so these are our sales and quantity. And uh, I'm writing here this as two. Third question is, maybe I need to delete this. Top 10 customers by sales we need. Okay, so top customer name I'm taking. And uh, we need the top 10 customers with respect to sales. Okay, I'm taking sales on the column shelf. We got this. I'm sorting it. And likewise, I'm just trying to filter it out and by top. So these are very straightforward requirement. I don't want you guys to miss this. I'm renaming this as three. Next question is top 10 worst products. Okay. So worst products means I'm considering first, let us take the product name here. Okay. I'm adding all and I'm trying to add uh, sales here. And if I try to sort it, maybe ascending order if I sort, these are something like bottom most products which are giving us the least sales. So this is one way of analysis or I can do it with respect to number of orders placed for each order also. Okay, so again, it is up to us how we are trying to, you know, order this. So if I just try to do an aggregation of this, okay, majority and if I try to sort, maximum is 13 and I think their minimum is 1. And okay, so we'll go with some of sales here for now and we can just try to build it. I'm just sorting it. And uh, now we because we need worst products, I'm taking product name into this. Go to top by field instead of top 10 bottom 10 apply okay these are our bottom most products with the least sales okay so i'm adding it and i'll just rename it as four go to this and trend of sales by month of order date so simply i'm 
writing here as phi. I'm taking order date because they wanted in month format. I'm just taking here as month and I'm taking sales here. Okay, I'll make it entire view and display the value. Now our five sheets are ready. Now we need to place it in dashboard and show them that is the requirement. Now they will not tell like, you know, I want this may or that way, whatever you feel, you know, comfortable, you can show it. Just uh, spend some time on the formatting so that it looks good. So I'm just putting my, uh, what they call filters on top so that it is easy to, you know, filter or select and I'll move this like this. Okay, maybe I'll add a title on top. I'll write as a Tableau desktop, Tableau coding assignment. So I'm not spending much time on formatting here, so, but uh, you guys, when you're doing, take time to format because that is very important and it is deciding factor your dashboard should look you know clean that is the expectation okay so maybe i'll add uh, some layout option here i want to border here and uh, maybe for this also i need and uh, so i'm just randomly doing it okay i'm not following any standard protocols just to show you and uh, yeah so this is done okay maybe we need to adjust the size here so that should be able to do okay now we need one sheet we have added okay and uh, second sheet we need to second is uh, this one i'm just pasting it here okay and uh, I, I just want to put this into numbers. So I'll just convert this into text label and maybe something like this and uh, measure names on label I'm dropping. Okay. And uh, maybe I'll just customize this. I'll just make it bold, apply, okay. Yeah, this is how I want it. I'll put it on dashboard, maybe hide what all I don't need. And uh, yeah, you need to, yes, something like this. Maybe you can hide the title and uh, I just need to adjust my fonts. I want that to be on the center of the screen and uh, maybe i'll just decrease font little bit here to 24 apply okay and i'm also taking measure names on color shelf okay yeah this is far better maybe you can try different way i'm just doing it and so third i have i'm just adding it here so fifth one I'm adding here itself. Okay, so bottom and this thing here. And now we have a trend line. So I just want to add it here. Okay, and uh, maybe I'll put it at the bottom. Okay, so this way we can put it and we can sort it. Okay, and uh, yeah, when we form format it completely, it should look good and uh, we can present it to the client and tell them what are our observation. And then once you are done with this, maybe you need to, you also need to 
show what to call you you also need to present this so i'm just okay i'll make this floating just thinking an alternate here yeah i just want to put this on top maybe different way we can tie you can comment if it is looking good or bad just exploring this i'm just going to this sheet formatting this shading and i'm just removing this and i'm just putting only sheet now yeah this is how it is looking and maybe we can customize how we uh, want here maybe i want uh, this to go a little down so i can just adjust it okay and uh, yeah once we adjust it uh, i want labels to look like they are on the top so for now i'm just ignoring the labels here and uh, yeah this is how it is looking okay or else uh, what we can do is maybe i'll just put it this way yeah can, yeah this should be fine i'm just removing this okay now uh, yeah we can put it like this and we can showcase it to the client and uh, next is you need to properly align uh, the filters that was the task i'm just removing what all i don't need here and this should be button that was the requirement for the select measure so some writing single value list here Okay, I'm just moving it. Uh, maybe this also I'll move. Okay, I'll just move this onto the left side and I'll give complete space. To my parameter. And then edit this single value list I need. And uh, yeah, now we got button. So when I'm selecting sales, it should show sales. When I'm selecting profit, it should show profit. Okay, this is working. Now when we select this state, this filter should be applied okay so that we need to apply so only that is pending so once you apply your dashboard is ready and you are good to share so once after your dashboard is ready just hide all the sheets name it correctly and send it to him once your formatting is completely done okay so some part of my formatting is left if at all you want to complete you can complete and send it to me or you can tag me on LinkedIn. I'll just, you know, share it over the network. So that's it from my side in this video. I hope this video was useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.